Hi everyone, I'm Anosha from Locks and Trinkets. Welcome to Slide Hustle. I'm kicking up your shoe game a notch with some amazing shoe upcycles. This week, I have some adorable pink mules that I wanted to add a little something special to. I love a good platform heel, and these ones are really cute and fun. But I thought it would be nice to add a little feminine, delicate touch to them. So what better than ruffles? So instead of buying ruffles, we're gonna make our own. So I'm choosing three different types of fabric. One that has a little bit more weight to it, one that's a little more sheer, and one with some texture. I'm gonna use a cookie cutter. Place your fabric down, place on the cookie cutter, grab a marker, and just trace a circle. To save some time, I've already traced them out. So the next step is to just cut out your circles. Working with less fabric always makes it easier, so I'm just gonna cut a square around the circle. And when you're ready to cut the circle, make sure you cut inside the line so you don't have that blue line in your fabric. And then you have a perfect circle. I've already cut some out, so when you're done, it'll look like this. And the next step is to start making the ruffle. This is an easy way to do it. Take each color and fold them in half. I chose three different colors of fabric because I thought it would give the ruffles a little bit more dimension. It helps if you place them in a bowl to keep the shape. So next, you're going to get your needle and thread ready. I'm using a larger embroidery needle because it'll be easier to get through all that fabric. Once you have your desired length, you just cut it and tie a knot at the end. For extra security, you can tie another knot. Once you're done tying your knot, it's time to sew the ruffle. So you're gonna take your bowl, start with a few at a time. Try to line them up as close as possible. Then you're going to take your needle and thread and sew as close to the crease as possible. That way, the ruffle will flare out more. Once the needle's through, you can just add a few more pieces at a time. Be careful of your fingers. Once you have a good amount of ruffles on, you're gonna pull the needle all the way through and pull it down all the way to the knot. If you're having problems pulling the needle through, take a piece of fabric, you can even take one of your circles, place it on the needle, and pull it through. Once you have it pulled to the knot, we're gonna add more ruffles. You can make your ruffle as big or small as you want. I'm gonna make mine a little bit longer. Once you have all the ruffles placed, you're gonna sew it around two or three times to just make sure that it's nice and secure. You can just push through a few at a time to make it easier on yourself. Once you have the needle sticking through, you can use pliers to pull it out. If you want your ruffles a little tighter, you can go around two or three more times, but I like the way this looks, so I'm gonna stop right here. The next step is to cut the string and then tie a knot to hold it all in place. You can tie two knots for extra security. And when you're done, it'll look like this. You can go ahead and cut off the extra pieces of hanging thread. Once you have your ruffle set, you're going to use a piece of fabric to glue them onto. I'm using felt because it's a little bit sturdy but also flexible. So I'm just gonna make sure to cut a strip that's thinner than my ruffle so you won't see it through. Once you have your strip, you're ready to glue it on. You can use an E6000 glue or any transparent industrial strength glue to glue on your ruffles. This is better than fabric glue because it's a little bit thicker and it'll give you a stronger hold. So we're gluing the ruffles onto the strip because that'll give you a solid surface when you're gluing it onto the shoe. It's okay if your fabric's a little bit longer than the actual ruffles. You can go ahead and cut off the excess after you glue them on. So you're gonna take your ruffle strip and you're gonna glue it onto your piece of fabric. Try to make sure the fabric is right in the center of the ruffles. You're gonna go ahead and cut off the excess fabric. So I'm just seeing where I wanna place the ruffles. I think that looks good. Take out your glue again. Be generous with the amount of glue that you add on because we want it to stick on nice and good. When you're done gluing, you just place it on. So gluing the ruffles onto the felt fabric made it so much easier because it just molds to the shape of the shoe. And there you have it, the perfect little ruffle shoe. 
Ruffles really add the perfect amount of girliness. You can wear them to brunch with your girls or to a wedding. Check out BeMakeful.com for some amazing DIYs. And if you try these shoes, I have to see them. Tag us at BeMakeful and use the hashtag SlideHustle. Thanks for watching. See you next time.